let me put this in context. I'm currently co-authoring a major new book called Cancer, 101 Solutions to a Preventable Epidemic. And it's primarily about removing the causes of cancer in the chemicals, pesticides, the environmental causes. While researching the book, I was told about some stunning new research being done in Britain on the connections between cancer and organic food, like why organic food defends us against cancer. And the science starts like this. It starts with a professor of, of um, drug development back in Britain called Jerry Potter, who is a full you know, pharmaceutical specialist, who discovered that every cancer cell has an enzyme in it called CYP1B1 that is doing nothing. And he was puzzled by this. So he developed a drug that would trigger it. And when it's triggered, it attacks the cancer cell and the cancer cell alone. So then he thought, well, so the drug's under development and will reappear in 15 years. Then he thought, well, if the enzyme is there, there must be something in nature that triggers this. So he searched in food for a, something that would trigger it. And he found it in red grapes, called, a product called resveratrol, which will trigger the enzyme to produce a substance called picayatinol, which attacks the cancer cell and only the cancer cell, no other part of the body. So it's, in that sense, it's the, it's the ultimate grail, the holy grail of cancer research. He then started looking for that same substance in other plants and couldn't find them anywhere. And this, was, this was a mystery, like why was this product not in all plants? Then they started looking in organic plants and they were everywhere. So and then he thought, why is this substance only in organic plants and not in the non-organic. And the logic is very clear, because when plants are attacked by pests and fungus, they've learned to defend themselves. So over millions of years, unless they defended themselves, they wouldn't be able to pass their seeds on. So part of the genetic heritage of the plants is a natural defense. That one of the defenses they develop is a compound like resveratrol. And they've now found almost 50 varieties. They call them salvestrols together. And so when we eat the plants that have defended themselves against pests and fungus, we eat the salvestrols. The salvestrols, in turn, trigger the enzyme in, the in any tiny cancer cell to produce the picayatinol that attacks the cancer cell. But now imagine that you're spraying plants with fungicides and pesticides, so the plants shrug their shoulders and never are exposed to fungus, so they never develop their defenses. And so all non-organic food is deprived of what may be nature's most important defense against cancer. And that's like, when you think about it that way, it's so natural. There's also research that organic food has 30% more antioxidants in it. Antioxidants will attack the free radicals that, you know, in the body and, and sort of, you know, go after them. For the same reason, antioxidants are part of the plant's defense systems. Organic food has more vitamin C in it. For the same reason, vitamin C is a type of antioxidant that also, you know, is there to defend the plants. And then, it's such a simple idea that you realize that all non-organic food is junk food because it's deprived of the fundamental life-protecting mechanism that nature evolved over millions of years.